Yeah, hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session of uh, Full Stack Development. So, what we have discussed in our previous session? What we have discussed? Adding images. Adding images. images, right? So, as part of our uh, front end development journey, we started with the HTML, right? We have started with the HTML. In that HTML, first we learned how to create first a web page. So that we are done successfully with the help of a basic template, right? That basic structure, or we say it's like a blueprint. Open HTML, close HTML, open header, close head, then open body, close body. That is called basic blueprint or you know basic structure. With the help of that, we created the first web page. After that, we have discussed how to add different different content to our web page. In that aspect text related content usually text we add in two ways in the form of headings and in the form of paragraph coming to the headings we have six paragraphs just one next uh, to you know uh, add some extra formats to the already existed paragraph or any text we use something like formatting tags we also discussed ex uh, exclusively about this as well right then We have discussed about images, how to add images to our web page. So, uh, images are something like special because uh, we cannot write an image. If you wanted to add image to a web page, first that image should be existed. That particular image only we can able to add to our web page. So, in that scenario, we use a tag called uh, IMG, image tag. In that, we use a special attribute called source, SRC. What we need to pass uh, to the value of that SRC is the address or path or you know, the location of your image. Whichever image you wanted to add to your web page, that location or path we need to pass here, add here, right? When you talk about that location, that image position may be uh, present in the same folder as that of your web page or it may be present in the other folder. You want to add image to one web page, sir. That, that web page is present in some folder, right? That image also may be present in the same folder or that image may be present in the other folder of your computer sometimes even completely out of your computer as well. so depending on that position we need to write the value for your src path we need to write depending on that position of the image if that is present in the same folder we no need to worry about the path where it started and simply write the file name with extension dot jpg or png whatever it is with extension if it is present in the other folder of your computer, then uh, follow the full path. We need to provide the complete path over there, which is starting from the drive, D drive or E drive or C drive. We need to provide the full up to that image. While we are writing the path, we always have to use that uh, forward slash. Next is, if it is completely out of your computer, we need to provide the full URL. It starts from the HTTP or HTTPS something like that, right? So in this way, we can able to add the image star web page so i hope uh, online people are able to see my screen and as well as you're able to uh, hear me just give me the confirmation one of you yeah okay fine so in this way we generally add images but by default always images are added with the original size Original means the in actual image, whatever it might be the size, same size will be added in the browser, means in the output. In the web page also, it will be added with the same size. If you do not want that, means that size you don't want, you want uh, another uh, size, your own size in the web page, then yes, we can able to do that. Uh, generally, we do that with the help of CSS concept, but uh, right now we don't have any uh, knowledge in the CSS, right? So directly we can do it with the help of html only for that to happen here uh, we use two special attributes they are height and width the attributes and the values we need to provide to them in terms of pixel that's it whatever the values you want to write we can able to write it clear and whenever you wanted to give an alternate name to the image 
then the image is added to the page that's it using imd tag it is already added but you want to give some extra name to your image which is already added for that you want to add some extra name then we will be using one special attribute here alt what is the attribute name alt so here what we will do is in any case due to some reason if the image is failed to load then at that time usually you will be getting image broken icon in, along with that we don't know which image is missing which image is not missing right so to recognize the images which are missed we use this alt so that what happens whenever the uh, image fail to load at that time in that on that uh, image place you will be getting one name which name whichever the name you write in the alternate that name will be displayed so that's the advantage of you know alt other advantage i already told you that there will be the people who can't see the website. Uh, those people also will go through the websites using a screen reader software. So at that time, that value will be read. That's it. This is what we have discussed about uh, images. Images, right? This is completely about your images. Now, As part of uh, HTML journey, as I already told you, HTML is used for what purpose? To add the content to our web page. So when it, com uh, when it comes to the content, it can be text or it can be image, links, uh, list. Uh, it will be in the form of table, videos, uh, audios, uh, different, different content will be there. So already in that aspect, text done and we are done with the uh, images also, right? And now we are going to see one of the important thing. What is that? Links. You know, links are generally, if you open any uh, web page, we observe something usually in the blue color, something like that. Yeah. So if you click that link, then what happens? Something will be open. Right? Do you know that or not? Whenever you open any web page, that there will be something. If you click that, then something will be opening. Generally, in any website, okay, here I will show you. Already we have this, right? some web pages already we created this is images related page yeah so if you look at this uh, if i take my mouse cursor this is a mouse cursor right if i take the mouse cursor which is an arrow whose symbol is like something like arrow right if i take it to the image also it is same right uh, anywhere uh, other area like this called empty area also this is same but if you take it to the normal text generally it will be like that uh, cursor symbol i something like uh, it looks like i just a minute Yeah, so the symbol will be looking like I normal, right? Uh, this will be like this. This is fine. If you take it to the text, it will happen. But normally in any other area, uh, you know, the cursor will be like that. But in general, if you are having something like links, if you are having anything like something like, you know, uh, links, at that time, it will be different. It will give you that uh, symbol like, you know, and symbol. You observe that? You observe that or not? Nothing, just like I typed something. Now, able to see that symbol, that symbol only I want you to see. See here, this is also a website, sir. Google is the google.com is also a website. So here, it is like this. And if I take it to the uh, text, it is something like this, right? Uh, but if I take near to any link, uh, you are able to see that symbol. Yes, we can click, but that symbol, cursor symbol is changed, which indicates that is a link. Clear? Now we are going to add links to our web page. In generally, why links are used here? Links are used to 
travel from one web page to other page. Links are used to travel from one page to other. Uh, I am telling that word like travel, but, uh, the same one we can say in another way, like links are used to navigate from one page to other. Clear? Navigate means traveling only. Traveling is a general word. Navigating is a little bit technical word. So links are used to navigate from one page to another. As we know, everything in HTML is added again with the help of tag. Everything will be added with the help of tag only, right? Here also, if you want to add links to your web page, one special tag is there called what? Anchor tag. What is the tag name? Anchor tag we have to use. And the syntax of the anchor tag is like this. Like this, you need to write open A and then close A. Some, uh, where we actually have to click is something like one word, uh, one word or some letter, uh, what I say, some sentence will be there where usually people will be clicking, right? Uh, that what should be there, we have to write here something like this. Click, uh, click here something so that your mouse will, you know, you can take your mouse cursor here so that what happens here, uh, you, can, that, uh, you can feel that uh, symbol and clicking symbol. So for that, we use something called what? Anchor tag. Now I would like to create a web page. Uh, help me. How to create a web page? How to create a web page? Yeah. First, open one uh, uh, HTML uh, like a normal Notepad, like a fresh Notepad in that HTML tag, and after that, header tag. Oh, next, what uh, open body tag and uh, close the body tag. And here we need to write the content, right? Whatever the content you want to write, generally we need to write here. So in my web page, uh, uh, okay, first save this. See, we have to save it in the proper location always. In your computer, already you are saving a daily or saving, right? So it will be properly, you know, saving in the same location. But for me, it is different. In each batch, I will use different, different folder, right? For saving, that's why that will change. But for you, you won't have that problem, right? It will be automatically saved in uh, that path will by default will come. So here, 8 a.m. front end HTML. So this is the path. So here, name, you can write anything. Whatever the name you wish, you can able to write it. I'm just writing something like links. But we need to write dot HTML as the extension and keep this all files. Now click this. That's it. And if you want to see the output, go to the same, not this one, yeah. Go to the same folder where this one correct only. Push tag to front end uh, HTML. What is the name? Uh, links. The page name is links. Double click it, it will open in the Google Chrome browser. Yes. It's been opened, right? Now I want to add link. Uh, just now we discussed how to add links with the help of anchor tag. The same I will write here now. Here I'm writing something anchor tag. Go there, I'll reload this. Added the anchor tag. If you look at the size of the paragraph, size of the anchor tag, almost same. Size, size, font size and that font style also same, like non-bold, whereas heading is bold. Just to show that only, I have written two things. So heading is bold, but this one is non-bold, right? If you take, okay, fine, if you take, uh, if you take your mouse cursor generally to any other area, normally like this, uh, if it is normally any text like this, it is, right? And if you take this to this one, same. Now observe, same story means the way it looks like, you know, paragraph in the same way your anchor tag is looking like. There will be no change or difference. It is exact looking like your paragraph. Okay, like heading only, but if you compare that, uh, what you call like bold, non-bold, it exactly look like a paragraph. 
Why? Because here the purpose is important. Why we use anchor tag? For adding, uh, for uh, adding link and uh, to navigate from one page to other page. Whatever you have written is exactly looking like normal content only, right? In the paragraph you have written some cut, some text. In anchor tag you have written some other text. Nowhere you mention like uh, if it is clicked, what should happen? So you know image tag, right? Uh, if I write IMG, any image will be added? No. Yeah, SRC. Because see, I will add no. Syntax wise, there is no error actually. IMG correct only. But you can't see anything. Because SRC, source is the primary attribute, which is an essential attribute. In that, we add the path of the image. Then only you can able to add the image to your work page. Yes or no? In the same way, for anchor tag also, we have one important attribute, our primary attribute. That is href. What is the attribute name? href. People say href or href, whatever it is. Fine. What does it mean here is, okay guys, you click, click, that word called click, but where it should go? Where you are, you are already in a web page called links.html, right? If you click this word called click, it should go from one page to other page, right? Where it should go, you have to mention the address. Understood now? Why links are used? Sir? If you click from here, it should go to another uh, page, right? Another page should open, right? Okay, at least if you click this, some other thing should open, right? What other thing should open? You have to mention that. Then how it can be a link? You understood? So, here we need to provide the address of the next page which we wanted to open. Why links are used? Sir? Links are used to navigate from one page to another. What is that another? You have to mention. Understood? Now, clear? Now I have written that, but I did not give any address. I kept it empty. Yes, code, sir. Here I have written href, but I did not mention any address of the any page. But simply I mentioned the href. Now reload your web page. Able to see some difference? Yes, sir. Underline came, color also came. Yes, observe. Now that and symbol also came. Got it? Now it is exactly acting like a link. See that? Now I am clicking see. Observe, observe. This is called reload or refresh button. My page is loading or not? That, that button is getting reflected or not? You are unable to see? Yes. Reloading or refreshing button is getting reflected. So the thing is, it is trying to load another page. But the problem is we did not mention which page. But still it is acting like a link uh, with uh, empty uh, you know, address. You need to provide the address of the page, sir. But we have not given. Now we can able to keep. Clear? We are in which page? What is our web page name? Links. That is present in which location here? That is in the ATM front end HTML folder. Yes or no? Yes. Next, what I want to do? I want to navigate to another page. This time also that another page can be present in the same folder or that web page may be present in other folder of my computer or that web page or website may be completely out of my computer also. Understood? Got it all of you. So in that scenario, what happens is same story here. That next page, whatever the page you want to, it's a target page, right? If you click that, another page should open. Right? That next page may be present in the same folder as that of your current web page. Then what to do? You don't need to give the full path and all. Simply give the file name. Again, same story. Whatever may be your, uh, you know, web page file name, that you can able to give. Here, yeah. understood. You know. You want to see, sir, you already have some other web pages, no? What are the web pages names? abc.html, first.html, image.html, textpage.html, right? You can use any one of them, simply abc.html, that's it. Next, 
it may be present in the other folder right then what you need to do here is you need to provide the full path if you want anything to be uh, you want to open it is completely out of your computer then provide the full url that's it you don't need to wait for web page you can open one web website address also if you have an address for the website that if you give that also you can able to open it clear now we are going to see the same first i will go with something that present in the same folder which is present in the same folder clear uh, i want to open text page if something is there called text page that i want to open text page dot html but we have to write proper names we have to ensure uh, p capital able to see in text page t capital and p capital we should not make that uh, spelling mistakes i am telling so we always have to write the proper names and dot html is the extension clear now save go to the browser see this guys i am not reloading the page now observe nothing is happening uh, now it is reloaded once it is reloaded means your uh, whatever the changes you made that are applied now see this is your web page what is your web page name links dot html in this you have a link if you click the link what should happen another page should be open another page open open or not yes this is what happens in real time also same sir another pages are already you know not like half of pages they already have fully loaded content that will be open that is what usually after like click registration or new form will come click login only small form will come click a contact contact information will come you observe that yes. for that they will not use something magic sir simple they will create for contact one web page they will create for registration they will create one page for login they will create one page all pages are ready they will provide simply links if you click that that will be open clear yeah. what they do there is they will be you know apply some styles they will beautify these uh, links and all that's it in this way we can able to open the link now the story is like you know where it is present in the same folder web page is present in the same, same folder. folder that's why we are able to directly we can able to write the name of the file now this time i want to do something like you know i want to open something which is completely out of my uh, not out of which is out of uh, our folder some other folder somewhere i want to uh, use okay uh, okay here some file is there called media file what is that media media dot html media means uh, video files and audios videos and audios together is called what media so that file i want to open clear here my interest is not that what that file is my interest is that file is not in our folder that is only i want to open that if i want to open that i should need uh, i should give that path full path yes, yes sir. it is present in other folder sir yes i should get that path that full path now go to that this is the path okay now create the anchor tag here we need to provide that path this complete path we need to provide there right but the problem is you know slashes internally system stores in this way but you have to uh, write in the opposite way right okay now it is ready right this is up to the what you call like a folder that is the last folder what is the folder name html what is the folder name sir yes, html yes. in that we have one more slash page name or the page name media data sir you want to open one web page sir what is the address of that web? name of the web page is media dot yes. that's it you provide it you if you want some change uh, just to some change the link else it look, both looks like same click to click here yeah. there's just some change i want so that's why i'm changing that text one is like click one other is like click two 
now go to the, already i saved the file now go to that and reload the page now you are able to see two links yes you are able to see color difference also no some color is different second one is the perfect blue color the first one is like your pink family some purple or violet i don't know exactly some that is between purple and violet right actually those are called pink family colors purple violet okay fine whatever we'll talk about that in the css that is something different why it is coming a uh, different color because generally it will always come with the blue color only what does it mean here is it's a visitor link just now we already clicked that link just now we already clicked that link right it's not a fresh one it's an already and a visited one that's why it is looking like that if i click this also that will happen okay fine now see observe listen here i am clicking that uh, link called click to now i am clicking yes that media file whatever whatever the file it is there uh, it is just to open up hmm. something just to open up right uh, so now come back now observe no both are in the same color because just now we visited it fine but here important thing is we are able to open two web pages from our web page with the help of two links one is redirecting to the web page which is already present in the same folder other is redirecting to the web page which is present in the other folder of our computer clear to you yes now this time we are going to create a link which is uh, going to open a page which is completely out of our computer then what to do for provide the full url then it will be open understood yes, don't worry about this just to type something in the google you will get one address right just to copy that address on the top you just to paste it as i know already the address of the india wikipedia page i have written so don't think this is something different or difficult got it what i am telling you search something in the google sir some site you search you click that site then on the top you will be getting the address right copy that address that address here you will give, give it you can give it as a link i am writing this address this is address for uh, Uh, India Wikipedia India page will be there, no? Uh, that website address that is. Now just go there, reload. Okay, that is I have not changed that. That's why it is coming. Click one. Text is here. Here yeah, this one. This to do. Save. Open this. Reload this. in my computer i might have already visited that uh, page at some time that's why it's already giving like it's a uh, you know visited page already clicked the page yeah now click this it should come from the server right it will take one second extra yes came the page came right yes that's it. so in this way you can able to add links to your web page clear so links are used to navigate from one page to the other page that other page whichever you want to navigate you need to provide its address in the href attribute href is the primary attribute for your links anchor tag without which it uh, it will not act like a link it will act like a normal text it's like a dummy it's not it's not actually like a link so for that we must and should use href then coming to the address you that next page whatever you want to open that is present in the same folder you are in one web page sir so if that web page the next web page both are present in the same folder then no need to worry about the path simply write that next page address like file name only enough next if that next page is present in the other folder of your computer then search for that address properly get it and then write the full path if it is completely out of your computer then provide the full url clear in the real time what happens is see here Uh, here we are having the link names like click one uh, next uh, click two click three instead of that some related names people will write understood what is this text to page this is called related name
and media clear hmm. india week but what i want to say is this is not uh, you know the thing which is making the thing whatever you have written in the hrf that is it is making understood your written india week you know this is not because of that that is because of hrf equal to you have written some address right that's why it is going to the you know india wikipedia high address understood what i am talking before that i have written click 3 also right now also at, at that time also it went to the same page so actual logic is not happening here logic is happening in the hre clear the same way sir you find like amazon you provide the address for amazon you write amazon if you click that then it will take you to the amazon site you guys understood what i'm talking now see here i'm going with the another anchor tag this time what is the address of amazon I don't know. Hmm? It's the address of Amazon. Right? If I click this, huh, that is also so many times uh, for you also to show the you know how website look like I already opened it right? see if i click this if i have written everything proper address proper it should open amazon site open open yes so in this way we can able to provide the links here see even in the amazon site also see this is some normal text up to 70 percent able to see this observe observe you are able to see this that is a normal text but mobiles is there no mobiles is there right yes, but that is not the normal text that is like a link able to see that symbol yes, sir. unable to see the symbol here see that is what clear yes. so that's it this is about your links but see i opened anchor tag i closed the anchor tag next i open another anchor tag i closed it but if you look at the uh, you know positioning everything is coming side by side it looks like clumsy see that all links are coming in the same single line why it is happening because already i have discussed about this in the yesterday's session two types of uh, uh, if you want it to be in the new line uh, we for forcibly we have to use break tag generally but that is okay different story but uh, why it is coming? Because if I open one paragraph, next if I open another paragraph, what will happen? It will come in the new line. See, sir, adding links is there. One heading, adding links is there. Uh, one paragraph, this is paragraph is there. Uh, is that space is not enough for this is paragraph? So much space is there. Then why it is coming in the new line? Because that is H2, that is paragraph. So they are block level elements. What they are? Block level elements. So what happens with the block level elements is if you open any new block level element always it opens in the new line means always it displays in the new line we have another category of elements what is the other category of elements inline what is the other category of elements inline so yesterday only we have written that right so in block level we have the category all these are fall into that category in inline till yesterday we have only one thing called image this time it is links also so that is anchor tag links also uh, like you know what inline elements means by default these elements will not display in the new line it always try to occupy the space just available to the right side of the previous element if the space is not enough then only it will move to the next line clear now observe here what i am doing just observe intentionally. This is a web page, right? That is not enough. Then only that some part will be, you know, went to the next line. If you are talking about the image, image cannot be like half year, half in the new line. But link can be half year, half year. So 
it is adjusting in its own way but it doesn't look good right you don't know which there is no separation right it looks like a single line actually you know what feeling it is giving one uh, like complete like a text paragraph something in that blue color or something purple or what color that is i don't know purple or purple ha some purple color text is there with underlines it doesn't look like a link right i don't want that to happen now i want uh, that to be displayed in the line by line so then what we have to do is we have to forcefully use one break tag you know the break tag that right? already we discussed wherever we write a break tag it will not think about anything whatever you write after that that will come in the new line that's it so now after every link i want one break tag so what, where is my first link here on the top here right text to page here i will use one break tag so br you guys following next year i am opening another br and after this year i am opening br that's it after that you are not written anything no last one is fine now save this file and uh, go to your browser reload it now see they are coming one by one clear clear if you want a two lines breaker that is also very simple write two times br nothing is there in that to you know think uh, too much what break will do sir that that line will be broken next will be started here if right break one more immediately that also will be broken next thing will be started in the next line that's it one break will give you one vertical line vertical you know one line space if you write one more break one more line space will come what is there in that to confuse and uh, making your friends to get confused huh? what is there in that so now see observe this this is before reloading to to avoid that clumsiness whatever it is yes you can able to do that fine that's it this is about your links how to create the links with the help of anchor tag and uh, the main uh, attribute we use is hr ef there we need to provide the address of the next page which you wanted to navigate we have to write it clear okay. observe this carefully this is called tabs here whatever you click this these are called what tabs i told you this right already uh, this is called address bar what this is called address bar and after that here from here to here this is your web page content clear google.com is also a website sir don't think like google is nothing like website in the google we search then only websites will come don't think like that google.com is also a website whose purpose is different youtube.com is also a website whose purpose is different amazon.in is also a website whose purpose is different in the youtube you search for the video and you watch the video in the google you will search for another sites another websites google.com is also a website that's why we call google.com as search engine amazon as e-commerce or online uh, you know shopping site gmail.com is also a website which is for mailing purpose that is what i am telling purpose are different but all are websites only what i am telling is after this uh, address bar to the below to the address bar your content will start clear and whatever it is displayed here from here to till here is written inside the body tag for our, in our page we have written this one in amazon page they will write what to be happened in the body clear okay fine uh, listen listen here how many tabs are opened here how many tabs are there here total only one tab sir now two now three understood okay what is there in the tab doesn't matter but how many tabs are there now three normally now how many tabs are there only one tab. if i click this text page what's happening the another page is opening but where it is opening in the same tab it is opening yes sir no and our original page gone right uh, links page where is links page it's gone the moment you click that link another page is coming but that original page is going away right 
uh, again what i have to do again you have to go with uh, this forcibly this one this back is there no symbol that i have to click if i click the same everything will happen same another page is opening but where it is opening in the same tab even the internet also same thing this one. amazon also sir same in the same tab only that is opening again click back you will be getting to your page this time if i click it should i don't want to lose my web page again i want to get back i don't want to do that means i don't want to use this navigation bars forcibly i don't want to use them the moment if i click anything it should directly open in the new tab understood the requirement understood the requirement or not if i click this it should directly open in the new tab for that we can do that uh, i already talked about this like uh, anything to the element okay how to create web, uh, links using anchor tag right if you want to add anything extra to the any element we use attributes how to add image how to add normal image not link generally img tag generally how to add one image to a web page img src so img tag right now i want to add something extra that whatever the image added for that image i want to change its height what to do height attribute i have to use right i have to change the width width attribute you know that in the same way that is what i want to say is that height is a attribute width is a attribute attributes will add some extra behavior to your elements clear yeah now if i want to open content whatever it may be the content our page in new tab by default where it will open always in the same tab anchor tags always open the next page in the same tab but i want to open it in the new tab then we need to use one special attribute what is the attribute name target and you need to write the value for that is what is the value underscore underscore blank you should not think much about this nothing you have to remember that if you want to open it in the new tab you have to write target equal to underscore blank that's it clear clear yes. nothing is there you have to put that in the anchor tag so that whatever is there in the anchor tag if you click that will open in the new tab now see for the same thing we already have a web page no uh, here This time I am writing another set of links, okay? That is also links are just I have written. Now, what I have to write here? What I have to write? Target, same. Target equal to? Target equal to underscore blank. Don't think about that word called underscore blank. Not required. Just you have to write that underscore blank. It will open in the new tab. That's it. Clear? Sir, it says syntax. How to add paragraph to your web page? Open P, close P. Don't think like why it is not paragraph. P A R A G R A. You will not get answer. You understood? Got it. In the same way, if you want any link to open in the new tab, they have given one attribute called target. The value will be always equal to underscore blank. If you write that, it will open in the new tab. If you write paragraph, paragraph will not be added. If you write P only, paragraph will be added. Understood? Yes, so now just to go to the browser observe this you can write later observe this first observe so here if i click this first amazon where it is open in the same tab so only one at one tab is there in the uh, you know browser this time now this time i'm clicking the another uh, you know link how many tabs are open two tabs so my web page is still it is there understood if i click one more time another tab will open got it now same story works for any other links also it's up to you whatever the way you want to write you can able to
what i am writing image start html where it will search it will search in the same folder because i am not writing any path do we have any uh, file called images okay i forgot image is already there no yes, do you have image html file called images yesterday only we created it right and that only i am opening so better you write proper uh, capital i i have written capital i know that's it here you write it image image or images save reload default it will come in the same line you have to use break tag uh, opening open or not where it is open in the new line or a uh, new tab or not yes again it will open in the new tab that's it. so in this way we'll be adding links to our web pages clear have any doubt in this so online people also you are clear up to now if you have any doubt just let me know uh, i hope you got uh, the point that how to create links and as well as how to you know open the links in the new, new tab if anyone has any doubt just let me know quickly else just mention like you are clear all of you just respond yeah so with this what we learned uh, how to create links uh, and as well as how to open the links in the new tab why links are used to navigate from one page to another right see that another page most of the times a web page or it's a website yes right you click that image is open you click that uh, text page is open right when you click that amazon website also open right so that is what i am doing that your next page whatever you know the target whatever you want to open that may be a web page or it may be a website web page or it's a website but 90, most of the times it will be a website or web page but anchor tags are not limited to open only the web pages understood mostly anchor tags are used to open the web pages and websites only but it is not just limited that one. clear yeah. using anchor tag we can open other content also as of now what we open sir if you click that web page open or website open why you are having question mark face if i click this what will open ah text page dot html it's a web page or not Uh, this is also a web page or not that is what i am telling this is a website or not that's what i am telling so most of the times we use it for opening the web pages and websites but it is not just limited using this we can able to open we can able to open other content also what is the meaning of other content like you know other than web pages i can open other kind of pages okay i will write something so that you'll be getting the clarity uh in my folder what is the what are the pages i have only web pages right other than that what i what file i have image files one image file extra i have right yes sir no next to this time what other content i have 
text file in my folder sir other than the web pages what content I have one image is there one text file is there just now what I talked using uh, links most of the times you open either web pages or websites but what I am telling you can open other content also I have just written some example for other content that's it now I want to open that text file from my browser so I want you open that HTML file in the same way I want to open text file nothing is there for that to happen same story create a link Here we need to change the address, right? What is my text file name? Hello. Hello is the file name. Actually, every file will have extension. Every file will have extension. If it is image, you will have JPG or PNG. In the same way, for text files, you have the extension called TXT. Data TXT. Clear? If you don't know that, go to the location. Here, select that file. Right click on that, go for properties option, there, see, type of file is a text document in the brackets, you are able to see dot txt. Clear? Yes. That will be there for everything, sir. If you don't know what it is file, if I don't, if you don't know this ABC is also what file it is, click this, go to properties. It is a Chrome HTML document type, its extension is dot html. Clear? Now go to this reload this what is the link text file color will be like this because we have not opened as of now right here images is there and amazon site is there right now click this text file open open or not ah, what normal text you have written that is open now in the browser that's what i am clear Links are used most of the times to open the web pages and as well as websites, but it is not limited. Means you can use another con other content also, you can open with the help of the anchor tag. For that, you no need to do anything special, sir. Whatever that uh, extra file is there, no other content, that file name you write properly. Again, same story. If that file is present in the same folder, you have to write just a file name. If that file is my text file is present in the same folder, no, that's why I have written just a file name. If it is present in the desktop or somewhere, then I have to write the full path. If it is completely out of my computer, again, you have to give the full URL. Clear? This works for everything, sir. You see? Uh, this is for the text file, right? What I am writing person image. I already have person, right? Yes, sir. No, you don't see that. You haven't seen that. This one person on JPG file is there. This time, what content I am opening? Person, but image content. This is my web page. Reload. Uh, another link of created right person image open that's what I, mean. I open target equal to underscore blank that is the reason it is opening in the new tab if i don't use that there only that image will come clear so this is about your links so what happened today what you have discussed adding links to your web page why links are used to navigate from one web page to the another page. What tag we use? Anchor tag. It is like a open a close here. And after that, we have to write some clickable text. Between two closing and opening tag, you have to write some text. Clickable means that is the place where people will click. Clear. Next. If you create it by default, it will not act like a uh, link. You have to use one special attribute called href if you don't use that it will not act like a link what we need to pass to the href the address of the next page whichever you want to open that we have to pass 
if that next page is maybe present in the same folder or maybe other folder or other than the other out of your computer so same story if it is present in the same folder simply write the file name if it is present in the other folder of your computer then write the full path drive folder subfolder everything we have to write slash you have to write next if it is out of your computer simply write that web page uh, address which starts from https or that website address you have to copy and you have to paste it, right that's it by default links are always open in the same tab if you don't want that you want it to open in the new tab then we use something target equal to underscore blank clear and links are mostly used for web pages and websites only but it is not limited you can use it for some other purpose means other content also you can open with the help of the links that other content can be anything text file or image files or video file or it could be anything the only thing is in the href you have to write the proper address proper extension proper address clear that's it this is about adding links to your web page so with this we are done with how to add text related content to the web page next is images to the web page this type links to the web page so now i am giving you this uh, only for uh, uh, what i say reference purpose don't copy this understood what i am talking this one i am giving you you take this all of you online people take this uh, uh, screenshot offline people also just to take the snap but you should not do copy and paste it is only for reference purpose it should not be like you know you have that uh, image with you just typing something don't do that thing so online people take the screenshot just let me know once you are done Varshini, Abhishek, Dan, Anjani, Shivani. Done with the screenshot. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you got uh, today's session. Still, if you are having any doubt regarding today's session, uh, just let me know. For first online people, just let me know if you have any doubt regarding the you know, session. Just let me know. If not, just mention like you are clear. So that we can wind up for the day. So all of you guys uh, respond quickly. If you do not have any doubt, just mention like you are clear. Sri Harsha, Sai Teja, Kisho, okay guys it seems fine right so we will see rest of the things in our uh, next session that will be uh, tomorrow okay guys bye take care